G'day, my name is Mark. I'm kicking off another project today. I'm going to build uh, two benches for a dining table. I've got this old beam, a nice bit of uh, timber. I've got a heap of merbar and heaps of other random colors which I pulled off pallets. Uh, so stay tuned, watch along, hope you enjoy. So again on this project, I've got lots of timber that may be warped or not perfectly straight. So if it doesn't have a straight edge, I'm gonna put it aside. I'm gonna come back to it later with this straightening jig. Uh, if it is good to go, I'm just gonna run it through the table saw to get my initial thickness of the slabs. Here's the straightening jig in use. I did put this into a YouTube video. I combined it with the bar that I built just to give a little bit extra. You can go back and check that one whenever you want. You can also grab these little clamps off eBay or Amazon. I will throw a link down the bottom if you are interested. Okay, I'm gonna glue up all my slabs I need now for these two benches. Uh, unlike my last project, which was the bar, I used a Type One Three uh, for all the gluing up on that one. For this one, I'm just using a cheap PVA. This one's only about 25 bucks or four liters, uh, but I'm gonna build in the strength with other structure in the project. So I'm not too concerned about the quality of this glue, but it does the job. Okay, I do get asked a lot, do I plane, do I sand, do I do anything to the faces of these slats before I glue up? The answer is no. Other than the bar I built on my last build, all I do is cut these things to width. Um, as long as there's not, they're not too rough or they've got dips and depressions in the timber, it's gonna create a decent enough bond because I know, again, I'm gonna build the structure in. I'm not gonna rely on that PVA bond alone for this build. So I'm pretty happy that doing woodworking, I still get a lot of exercise in the shed and I am constantly moving things around. So just like this, move it here, move it there, constant battle, but she's all good. So I've now cut all my slabs in half. Now it's time to move them to another location in the shed. Okay, just doing a final square up of the timber and then I'm gonna line them up for some random reason just to show you how much timber there is in two benches. Check out the colors, check it out. Oh, and then once you've done that, you've got to move it to another location in the shed and stack them up and then you'll probably have to move it again.
using my table saw sled to square off the legs of these bench seats. I didn't do a YouTube on this sled because there's so many of those out there. Uh, I did do a little Instagram TV, so I do a lot of videos on Instagram, um, posting stuff daily. You can always come over there, check it out, have a chat. That's always a bit of good fun. I'm now gonna build the structure which is gonna go on the underside of these benches. So I've got some more Murbar which comes off a pallet as well. Um, I'm basically ripping them down. I'm then just gonna laminate these two lengths together. They're gonna form my uh, bracing down the center of the bench seat on the underside. Now you will see this bracing just popping out near the end of the benches. So I wanna put a little 30 degree cut just for a bit of decoration. Uh, totally unnecessary, but as you'll see later on, it's pretty effective and I was pretty happy with how it turned out. I'm gonna do a little half lap to join the legs of the benches to that supporting rail. Um, the rail itself, it's probably a bit long to do the checkout with the table saw. So I'm gonna take that over to my miter saw and set up a stop. I'm gonna cut that half lap there. I'm then gonna come back to the table saw and cut the other half of the half lap, which is the leg component on the table saw. Then jam them together and see how it goes. Time to do the, uh, the clamp up of the bench seats themselves. So you'll probably see that I've rigged up a bit of steel and underneath that there's a couple of chunks of wood. I wanna be able to access lots of clamping positions to hold this big long slab down while it pulls in from the ends. Okay, I've done a dry fit. It's time to glue the legs and the support piece up. Um, I have got my square out and I'm gonna check that it's square at least 47 times. I'm a little bit paranoid, as you may see. So I've cut my first straight edge with a circular saw. I'm then gonna throw on a little bit of rough timber for bracing. I'm gonna cut this second side with the table saw. So just the weight of this slab as it comes out the other side of the saw. There's potential that my slab might break because remember I just used that cheap PVA glue. This is probably where without the structure, it may fail. Um, so as you can see here, just sliding it through the table saw to get a nice parallel cut. And it was after this job and a few others, uh, I decided my next video is gonna be me making an extended fence and an extended outfeed table. So running that big stuff through, it's not, it's not the best method. You don't get a perfect cut and it's maybe not the safest way to do it. So there's gonna be a video coming dedicated to sorting that issue out. Okay, 
Again, me banging on about building in structure into the project. So these extra two uh, thin rails, that's all they're designed to do, a bit more structure, lock it all in, making this furniture to last. Okay, I'm gonna go with some dowel uh, to attach the base to the top. Um, I lost my doweling pins, um, so what I'm gonna do is I've made up the little jig, um, which matches the profile of the bench legs. I can then take it over, flip it upside down. I'm gonna screw it down nice and tight, and then I can mark out the opposing holes and everything should, should line up nicely. Okay, so also a good one to point out, my videos aren't really a tutorial. It's not a how-to, it's more of a how I do it. Um, so I offend some people with things I do, like this gluing down technique, but to me, it's locking all those flavors in. Uh, it's not gonna move. I've built over 100 pieces of furniture. Uh, I haven't had any complaints yet. So I'm gonna stick with it because it works. I'm not gonna lie to you though, I was very happy when all these dowels actually lined up. It took a bit of wiggling and jiggling, but I got it there, everything's nice and flush, glued down, it's nice and strong, very happy. I'm going with a Wipon oil-based poly for this build. Um, you can see the colors look amazing. I'll put about four coats on here, a little bit of a sand between a few of those coats. Uh, but I just, the wipe on poly, it is just the business. No strokes, it's nice and clean. I really suits this timber, dig it. So I am learning as I am going. Uh, I wanna try something new on each build, test myself, learn new things. And I think I've done that with these benches. I'm very happy with how they've turned out. Customer, also very happy. And that's what it's all about. Thanks for watching.